Olympic sports only get their spotlight in the United States once every four years. However, the country's best biathletes train year round in our region. NBC 5's Marshall Kramsky went to Lake Placid to talk with two local Olympians who, for the first time since 2006, won't be representing Team USA on the biathlon course. USA Olympians Lowell Bailey and Tim Burke have both competed in biathlon in each of the last four Olympics but they won't be packing their skis and rifles for Beijing. I'm completely fine with it, and I think that's probably a, a good sign that I retired at the right time. <laughs> I don't have quite those same feelings from when I was an athlete, but on the other hand, it's still, I still have some of those feelings, right? I'm still nervous, I'm still excited. Both Bailey and Burke are still heavily involved with the United States biathlon team, just in a different capacity. I'm the high performance director, so I'm responsible for managing all the logistics. My focus is on those younger athletes, helping to, to grow the sport and helping take our athletes that we have already in our pipeline and uh, bring them up and give them their best chance. A part of the bigger picture. Organization like US Wathon, which is really small, uh, titles don't always mean a ton because we all end up doing a little bit of everything. Such as passing on wisdom to first time Olympians. The biggest thing that gets in the way of athlete performance at the Olympics is their own minds. The, the targets are still the same size. They're still the same distance away. The competition length is still the same. It's the same race, it just has that Olympic title. Simple advice for a simple goal. Our main goal in Bathon is, is to win our first medal. A goal for future Olympians built on the foundation of Olympians past. Reporting in Lake Placid, Marshall Kramsky, NBC5 News.